headed underground into the sewers and I got the manhole opener so we can be able to enter the sewer area so we're gonna I don't know, I'm sure there's gonna be enemies down here maybe even a boss I'm not sure this is the graffiti underground Oh, it's saving. So it's definitely something about to go down. Listen to this music. It's so dark in here. Why does everything, everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way, all the way through this place. It's like the underground thing. This is amazing. No, 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 no. Oh, look at that. This graphics is amazing. So it's uh, Paper Mario and Princess Peach down here. Somebody drew it. And who is that? Look, someone's here. I wonder if that's Captain Toad. I thought it was. Who's there? Yes, I'm saved. <laughs> oh, Mario, I had to run down here and hide from those horrible folded soldiers. It looked like him, almost. Pardon me, I should introduce myself. I am the curator of Muse, Champignon, and in to Total. <laughs> this museum with a splendid collection of objects, music, treasure, origami, and other wondrous items. And we even managed to acquire the legendary Super Mario sea vessel, believe it or not. I do hope you will come visit soon. We're open, even with all the origamized um, crime we've seen of late. <laughs> Muse? Marino? I'm trying to remember those words instead of that toad's face. <laughs> it just kept getting closer. It was all I could focus on, but maybe the words were more important. Should we go back to town and check out the Muse, whatever that is? Nah, not right now, because that, that's not what we're here for. So I'll probably do that uh, on the way back, maybe off screen. But I did actually check out the rest of Toad Town and explore. So I went everywhere that you could possibly go. Oh, look. Oh, the bat's about to attack. Yeah, come on down. Come on down and get you some. Just like I expected. Some enemies down here. So we got the little bats or the swoops. Oh, there goes that timer. Oh, man. Just gotta line them up. See? I'm messing up on the, on the rings. There you go. See, that timer puts so much pressure on you. Yeah. I remember in a thousand year door, you could do like the little stylish moves. How come you can't do it in this game? At least I don't know if you can yet. You get some stylish points to bring in the crowd. But it, I guess it's different now. There's more here too. See, they just chilling. Come on down. See, I remember this from the old games because when you attack, you get the advantage, you get a, a damage boost. Yeah, got them there. See, I almost forgot. You don't even have to rotate the rings. You can slide the enemies in line. Definitely got the advantage in this battle. See, I'm learning it as I go, but... See, I say that now, but I hadn't even fought, fought a real boss yet. So I want to see how that's going to be. That's not going to want... That, these battles are not going to end in one turn. It's going to be multiple turns. 
And I'm gonna have to figure out how to block and see if I can minimize damage. Just in case I mess up. Cause I don't know how what other enemies could be down here. See, look at this. There we go. See, it's not gonna be easy like that. You're gonna probably spread the enemies on the different rings and different platforms. But I got so much coins. It's it's so early in the game. And I got so much coins. I have yet I have yet to use them yet. Once maybe once the town opens. Unless they made the items a little bit more expensive. But I don't know all the answers yet. I'm still just scratching the surface. I love that sound. Oh look, I don't even need this. I didn't take any damage. I guess they put it there just in case um you messed up on the in the battles. Hit the lights. Oh look, the rats are here. They, he scared the daylights out of me. But I was ready for him. <laughs> they got bats and rats. It swoops in what are these things called? See, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, they're gonna hit me this time. See, I'm gonna take damage, but it's better to know now. I got two turns. These scaredy rats. So I can get these. And then, I guess the other, the two next to him. So let's see what happens when they attack. It's the enemy's turn now. Yeah, I did it. See, I wouldn't have known that because I played the other games, so I perfectly timed it. So I took less damage, and so it's better to know now instead of later because I know it's probably going to get a little bit tougher. They might even throw more enemies at you, even additional waves. And I got a mushroom. Oh, there they are. And bats. They're about to double see me. You see, he's just shrugged it off. He's like, oh well. <laughs> just the way he did that. So, may as well just fight. They got you surrounded. Look at these guys. Slide them up. And then, I don't know what to do with these two. I can probably get at most three three of the rats, but it will still rotate. The bats will be out of place. Or the swoopers. Yeah, it's too late. See, situations like this, and they, they're gonna set you up where you have no choice but to take damage. So I can take out another stack of enemies. Then it'll just be two again.
Now, finish him off. See? So now... This will be it. Oh, there's more. There we go. I got that. See, that was easier than the last one. But it was it was set up that way. So now I can sweep right through them. So that wasn't so bad. They throw all these enemies at me. They don't want me to get get through this graffiti underground. So that's where the rats came from. I thought there was something in there. <laughs> Let's hit the lights. Whoa. See all those bats? Someone flying around. Hey, there's a pipe over there. I wonder where it leads. I bet you can hardly contain yourself when you see something that and see something that inviting, huh? Oh no, it's all flooded. We can't get across with all that water there. We'd get soggy. So we have to find something. A switch or something to drain the water. Surround it again. See, look, see, there they go. 40 seconds. And now I'm not going to be able to get them all. Sliding won't do anything any good this time, at least for this particular area. See, I got these two lined up, but I don't have a choice here. Yeah, time's almost up. <laughs> but I just feel like they have it like that because you can't get them all in one turn so that you only be able to get a select roll, a select, a few stacks here and there, and then you get them in the next turn. But wait a minute, look, I wasn't even thinking. I could have been using my hammer. So maybe, well, yeah, that would leave one of them, I think. It would still leave one enemy out. I don't think it would matter. I wasn't even thinking about that. I could have used my hammer. Oh well. The battle's over now. <laughs> See, I forgot. Oh, a magic circle. Do, do those mean. Did those mean photo soldiers hide it? So this is for my 1000 folded on. Oh technique so this is the lever I'm guessing this should drain the water Water disappeared, so we got it. Hey, 
And it's a treasure chest down there too. With some coins. I still can't believe that. I could have been using my hammer the whole time. I would have probably took less damage, but I was still, I took minimal. It's a manhole cover, another collectible. Oh look, I got them all in the graffiti underground. It even tells you, so that's lit. So this is the gate or the shortcut to Peach's castle since the bridge was out. So now we made it on the other side. So we should be able to get to the castle now. We made it to the entrance of Peach's Castle. That sewer really is pretty neat. I mean, I suppose we shouldn't celebrate just yet. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is okay, and your brother too. 